Let's go to John 13 and 34. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So what is that saying? Even if I don't know you, even if I've never seen you before, I should be able to say that I love you. And that should not be weird for me to say. I know some people may say, well, how can you love me when you don't know who I am? Conditional love is not love, which you are going to find out. But we are commanded to love each other. Sometimes some people may say that they love you, but they have no clue what love is. You will find out that <laughs> really it is the opposite. Like they don't love you. They are just saying words. So let's find out what love is. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 13. Four through, let me see, 13, let's say four through seven, not eight. I don't want to do eight. Seven. Okay. So in the King James Version, it is going to say charity, but it really means love. Okay. So, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Okay. Charity suffereth long. So, what does that mean? Love is patient. If you have a person that says that they love you, but they aren't patient with you, you have to question them or question within your mind, hey, I am not sure this person really loves me because obviously this person is not patient and love is patient. Love is kind. Same thing. Some people are not kind or patient with the people that they say that they love. Okay, love envieth not. Now, some people may not know what envy is, so let's look it up. Okay, envy, a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. So let's say that you are hating on a person because they have a nice car. That is envy. Like, that person does not deserve that car or that person does not deserve that wife there. I should have his wife. I should have his car. I should have his job. That is envy. Okay, let's go back. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Give me a second, please. So, love envieth not. So, if you are in envy, you are not in love. Charity, or love, vaunteth not itself. What does vaunt mean? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Boast about or praise, especially excessively. So, when you boast and stuff like that, boast about or praise something, especially excessively. So, when you brag or flaunt and all that stuff there, that is not love. Love is not about self. Love 
is about the other person. You are doing whatever you have to to please the other person, not so much as pleasing yourself first, which people think about themselves more than other people. Okay. Let's go back. It's not puffed up. So arrogant, conceited, pretty much, which many people are. You may be with a person that is very arrogant and conceited, and they say that they love you. That is a lie, as you can see, because that is not love. That is self, selfishness. Verse 5, but Kevin, I think that person loves me. I am showing you the scriptures here. <laughs> okay, verse 5, doth not behave itself unseemly. So what does that mean? If you read in the expanded Bible here, it says that love is not rude, disrespectful. Okay, seeketh not her own. So love is not selfish, as I was saying to you earlier. It's not easily provoked. With some people that say that they love you, they get angry at you so easily. Like, if you say, like, two words or something, like, this person has an attitude, or, like, ready for you to say the wrong thing or like trying to find an excuse to yell at you. That is not love. Hey, <laughs> I get really mad at you over anything, but I really do love you. What? No, you don't. It's all about you. <laughs> okay, where am I? Think of no evil so if a person is always thinking that you are let me see what the expanded Bible is saying love does not count up or keep a record of wrongs that have been done some people do that they remind you over and over and over again the bad things that you have done to them like things that happened years ago like two years ago three years ago hey you know the reason why i am acting this way towards you because of what you done back then that is unforgiveness and unforgiveness is a sin so you are in sin and not in love because you are about self selfishness there is no love in selfishness. Just because I say I love you does not mean anything. If I am not showing it, my words are empty. Come on now. Verse 6. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. What is iniquity? weird word <laughs> let's look it up iniquity immoral or grossly unfair behavior so you are just acting evil you are just a bad person or acting bad okay i lost my place <laughs> so love does not rejoice in doing bad doing wrong which some people do. Hey, you know, I may beat you every day, but hey, I still love you. No, you don't. Because it's all about you. You are selfish. There is no love in selfish. There is no love in selfishness. How can there be? Because it is self. So it is one. So love is about other people, not yourself per se I 
I pray this makes sense to you all. Verse 7, Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. So in the expanded Bible, it is saying, love, love patiently accepts all things, always trusts, believes all things, yes. So if you have a person that does not trust you, how can that be love? Like, hey, you know, I love you and everything, but I don't trust you. That does not make any sense. How can you love something but not trust it? I am not saying believe their lies. Like a person comes to you and say, hey, you know, the sky is green. <laughs> okay, yes, <laughs> the sky is green, you know. No, don't believe lies. But I am speaking about where you are to the point where you are doubting everything a person is saying, doing, and whatever. That is not love. Always hopes and always endures. So what is endure? Let's look it up. Suffer something painful or difficult patiently. So if you believe that your love should only be there when times are good, that is not love. That is conditional love. Conditional love is not love. Well, you know, I have to know you to love you. That is conditional love. That is not true love. That's why that love fails because there is conditions, conditions to it. Love with conditions is not love. Unconditional love is love. Hey, I love you no matter what. Whether you backstab me or do evil to me, I am going to love you anyways. That is love. But when I am happy with you, you are happy with me, and I love you. But when times go bad, hey, I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't want to endure with you. I want you out. That is not love. That is conditional love. And conditional love usually tends to be about self. And there is no selfishness in love. Because self, self is one. So how can you love that person when it is about self? Man, I pray that makes sense, man. I pray that this really have helped you. So going back to John 13 and 34, we have to love everyone unconditionally. No matter what they do or what they say or what they did to us back in the past, it does not matter. Even if they did evil to us back in the past, so what? We have to let go, forgive, and move on. Because if you don't love your enemies or love people, how can God... If you don't forgive your enemies and love them, how can God forgive you? How can you get into heaven if you are not doing what God wants you to do? Think about that. Is really what that person done to you really worth burning in hell forever? Yes, you may have suffered for 10 years or 20 years, okay. But if you don't let it go, you are going to burn in hell for many more years than that. So, 20 years of pain, okay, bad. But how would you like burning in hell for 200 years for not forgiving someone of something that happened for 10 or 20 years? Is that worth it? Come on now. But of course, you will be in hell for much longer than that. But, you know, to illustrate something to you, like, 100 or 200 years over 
20 years. Which the torment is going to be a lot worse than those 20 years of pain. Well, Kevin, you know, I am already in hell now. No, you're not. Hell is way worse than this cursed world. By far. <sighs> My Lord. Let me stop here. God bless.